Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Taipei, Taiwan. This morning, we are heading over to the Miniatures Museum of Taiwan. That's our first stop. And then from there, we're gonna hopefully have a hot pot lunch and then go to a few other places. So stay tuned for today's vlog from Taipei. We have arrived. It looks like there's not a huge sign for it, but it's this banner and it's housed in this big uh, Skyrise building. And it says we go to the basement floor one. We got our tickets for 180 Taiwan dollars, and now we're just walking around the, the Taiwan Miniatures Museum. Uh, so far, I have seen mostly European and Victorian style houses and cottages and businesses, uh, all models of them scaled down. Uh, but what's really impressive is the detail. You can look inside of the houses and inside living rooms and see even the furniture and wallpaper and people. Uh, very, very well detailed. We didn't spend too long at the museum because I'm ready for lunch, uh, but the museum was all right. Uh, kind of small, but many good, realistic, very realistic and very detailed models of mostly European architecture and some famous buildings as well. That is the restaurant we're going to right there across the street. And I believe in English it's called Old Sichuan. And so it's gonna be a Sichuan style hot pot which I am looking forward to. Thank you. This is a really classy restaurant. I love the atmosphere here. We just ordered a couple of different plates. You order by the plate of meat or by, we order, also ordered some mixed vegetables and then they bring you a pot of soup. They gave us this appetizer, which they said is included. And it's, um, they said it's green bean noodles. I think mung bean, maybe green mung beans. And then topped with uh, peanuts and Sichuan chili and oil. This looks amazing. Oh, these are slippery. <laughs> Those noodles are like slippery, very slippery. Mm. But that is extremely good. That is, it's very sour and then it has a beautiful dry chili flavor to it. Um, you actually don't taste that oil really, but it does have a nutty kind of sesame flavor as well. We got our soup with divided between two different soups. This one is the Sichuan spicy soup. And then over here, I am not sure, but the kind of milky, creamy looking soup, maybe a bone broth. And they have brought over our plate of beef and pork, which they set on a side table. The beef is a little bit fatty. I wish I, I didn't know exactly what I was ordering, but it's a little too fatty for me probably, but the pork over here looks very good. That one is pork shoulder, uh, but I'm sure it's all gonna taste amazing once, once dipped in that soup. Okay, this is, it looks like bacon, but this is beef. Okay, and I gotta go into the spicy broth first to test that out. Oh, oh, oh whirl that around and I do not want to cook it too much. Oh, that should almost just about be good. Going straight into my mouth from the pot. Oh, <laughs> mm. oh man. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, that's insane. Mm. I can feel those numbing Sichuan peppercorns immediately upon eating that piece of beef. It just kind of makes my tongue tingle a little bit. And that broth, it tastes very earthy and very just herbaceous. And that flavor, oh, and I can, yeah, I can feel that peppercorn. That's, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh man, that's good. So the meat is so good quality and so thin that I did not even taste the fat. Uh, it just kind of just melted. So that was awesome. Okay, gotta taste this broth now. That meat is so good. Oh, okay, and that, that broth is definitely more mild and almost tastes kind of milky. Okay, I'm gonna try the pork now. And go into this broth. 
All right, I think that's cooked. Oh, the beef maybe is a little more tender because of all that fat. But that broth is just, that's, that's blowing my mind how flavorful it is. Oh, that is so hot. Oh. Okay. Oh. And that's quite a beautiful presentation. And I will dip it in here. I'm not sure how long. And this sauce, there were a couple of different ingredients in there. And then the lady here told me to add some of the spicy broth into the sauce to make the sauce. I think it's like a, oh, my piece of fish fell apart. Oh, well. Mm. My entire mouth is just buzzing and my tongue is just tingling. I can barely feel it. And it is just sensational. I am loving every single bite of this. Ying and I were eating in there for two hours and that was by all means the best hot pot experience meal that I have ever had in my life. That was just mind-blowingly good. My mouth is still numb and that was just insanely flavorful. And after, when we were done with our meal, our waiter was really nice and he was cleaning up everything and he asked us and he, he only spoke Chinese so I had no idea what he was saying, but I just smiled and and I just smiled in agreement and in happiness of that meal and that food. And I don't know exactly what I said, but the next thing he came back with a big bag of the soup broth from our hot pot. So he packaged it up to go. And so we have, Ying and I were laughing pretty hard because we didn't even, we had no idea what we did. We were just, we were just gleefully smiling uh, with happiness from how delicious that meal was. But I guess we got our soup to go. And so I have a big bag full of all of our, both of the soup broths. Yeah, I have no idea what we're gonna do with these soup broths, uh, but maybe I'll put it in my bath and bathe in that, that pepper oil soup. A couple days ago, we tried to go to the Confucius Temple. Actually, that was last week on Monday, but it was closed. So I think we're gonna head there now since we're not too far. We arrived to Yangshan Station which is a little walk from the Confucius Temple and we're walking there now. This temple is very peaceful today. Uh, there's only a couple people here that I can see and I'm gonna go check out the inside now. That was good to see and definitely when you come here you should combine the Confucius Temple with visiting the Pao An Temple, which is just across the street, uh, as long as you don't come on a Monday when this temple is closed. Uh, and now we are going to head to the Fine Arts Museum, which is a little bit of a walk from here. I've arrived to the Taipei Fine Arts Museum, and the outside structure is pretty cool, made of glass and really boxy shaped. But I know it is a contemporary fine arts museum and especially focusing on artists from Taiwan, local artists. The museum was pretty good, especially if you are interested in contemporary modern Taiwan art and some very interesting exhibits on display as well. I'm still feeling the delicious effects of that lunch and all I want to do is go back to our hotel and relax but we are actually going to go back to our hotel now because I got I need some work that I need to get done uh, and so I'm going to end the vlog here in the mid-afternoon but I want to say thank you for watching this vlog please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next vlog from Taiwan